Yo, welcome back everybody to Abandoned Pokemon TC Live, Temporal Forces deck video, and today we're going to look at the brand new Torterra EX deck. Now this is kind of a pseudo Bad Deck Friday deck. I'm not going to call this a straight up Bad Deck Friday deck, but you can kind of treat it as a pseudo version of Bad Deck Friday because Torterra EX, I really did struggle to make work. If you've been watching my past few live streams, you saw that I was really trying to get this card to work and it was just not working out at all. I even tried it with that Whimsicott engine everyone's hyping up and it just wasn't enough to compete in our meta. But I have built a new version of Torterra that I actually thought was pretty decent overall. And that was because we are combining Torterra EX with the Evo Press Torterra. Now this card could be good on its own, but with the combination of Torterra EX, it makes for a pretty cool grass box deck. Now Torterra EX does have that Forest March attack, which for a single grass energy, does 30 damage for each of your grass Pokemon in play, which isn't bad. You know, you can fill up your board with grass Pokemon and you can do 180 damage for a single energy. The problem is 180 damage is also kind of weak. 180 damage is not what it used to be. It's not very good right now. And even though it's for one energy, sometimes it doesn't get the job done. Now, there is another big issue with Torterra that I wanted to quickly mention, and that is Turtwig does not have the ability to be searched out with Buddy Buddy Poffing, making this deck really hard to set up your Turtwigs. That's the main issue that I have with Torterra. Not only does it not do enough damage, it's also that you can't get Turtwig out super easily with Buddy Buddy Poffin. You know, every other deck, you know, Charizard, Chempow, even stuff like Gengar and Incineroar get to play Buddy Buddy Poffin. But unfortunately, Turtwig has 80 HP and cannot be searched out with Buddy Buddy Poffin, which is unfortunate. There are still some upsides to this. You still get access to Grottle with a fantastic ability for an all-grass deck like this. Being able to use Sundrench Shell to search your deck for a grass Pokemon and put it into your hand. This allows you to easily set up your deck. Now, because Torterra EX is our, one of our main attackers and it does need your entire board to be grass Pokemon, we can't really play any other types. We're not playing that many other Pokemon. There's no other Bibberols or anything in the deck. We're just playing grass Pokemon and a Luxray, which we'll get into in a minute. So we can actually play Beautyfly, which is a grass draw engine. It's got that ability stoked draw, which makes me pretty stoked because you can draw cards until you have six in your hand, which is pretty fantastic. This is our draw engine in the deck because again, we can't really afford to play Curlia's or Bibberol's or Pidgeot EX or anything because it's not grass Pokemon. And then Torterra is doing it less damage. So that's why it's nice to just play all grass types within this deck. Now, before we do get into the video, if y'all want to leave a like on the video, show your support on the content, it would be greatly appreciated. Today's like goal for the first, I guess, Bad Deck Friday deck is going to be 500 likes. Once again, y'all have been killing it with the support on the content so far here on the channel. I want to thank you all for all the support on the Temporal Forces content so far. And of course, before we get into the video, shout out to the sponsor, Card Kevin TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TCG live pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Council's code line for the cheapest. So if you're picking up any Temporal Forces codes, or you want to get some IRL product and singles, Card Cavern sells all that over there too. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code TOLDLDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. So big shout out to Card Cavern. Check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, make sure to check out the Shovel Squad down below and my second channel for some extra content. Most recent video, I looked at all the best decks in our current format right now in the early stages of the Temporal Forces meta. So make sure to check out my second channel down below. So yeah, here is my Torterra list. Again, we're leaning heavy into the grass Pokemon. We got the Wurmples. We got the Silcoons. We got the Beauty Flies. We're also playing Rabska. We can't play Manaphy or Jirachi because it doesn't synergize with Torterra EX or even the other Torterra. But Rabska does have a Jirachi Manaphy ability all in one, and it's a Grass Evolution Pokemon. It's literally perfect. Now, I am playing a one Luxray in the deck. Now, Luxray doesn't synergize with Torterra EX, but what it does do is it allows you to chase Lugia and Pidgeot, which are very popular Pokemon right now. Now, this deck doesn't mind playing it from behind in the prize trade, so you can actually use Luxray Reversal fairly easily. And it's very important to have this because, like I said, Lugia is going to be difficult to beat. You can't one-shot a Lugia, and they have Cinchino, which can just Ooga Booga one-shot you. And there's also Pidgeot EX, which, you know, it makes your Charizard matchup even easier. Charizard is not easy to beat, mainly because they have Radiant Charizard, which allows them to actually break the prize trade against you. And you can't even one-shot Rodom V with the Torterra EX. So the matchup's tough, and that's where the Luxray really comes in handy. You can also use Luxray with Evo Press Torterra. It does 50 damage for each of your evolution Pokemon in play. In all honesty, this Pokemon, this Torterra, could literally be its own deck, but we are going to be combining it with Torterra for a dual Torterra package. And Luxray synergizes with Evo Press Torterra, giving us a good one prize attacker that can also do a little bit more damage than the Torterra EX can do, because Evo Press does 50 damage for each of your evolution Pokemon in play, which is pretty nice. And uh, 
yeah, we got some Turos. Two Turos pretty good because, like I said, I did try this Torterra EX Whimsicott deck. The idea with Whimsicott is when you play it from your hand to evolve your Torterra or evolve the Whimsicott, you can heal the damage from the Torterra, all the damage from it, and then you have to discard the energy. So you play down the Whimsicott, heal all the damage, and then reattach a grass. The problem was I could not get that deck to work. The Whimsicott just wasn't enough, especially now we're in a meta where there are a lot of decks that can KO you in one hit. It just The Whimsicott just wasn't cutting it in my opinion. So... Turtle's pretty good, too. Basically, as long as you have a Grottle in play, which I think when playing this deck, you want to try to make sure you at least have one Grottle on your bench for that engine, you can Turtle the Torterra EX into the Grottle, evolve the Grottle back into Torterra, and then start swinging again, as long as you have a Grass Energy in your hand. And that's why I like having the double Turo in the deck. You can also use Turo to, like, remove Luxray off the board if you really need to punch another Grass Pokemon. There's some cool synergies with the uh, Turo. Uh... Yeah, we got Artisan in the deck for the stadium. Again, like I said, Turtwig cannot be searched out with Buddy Buddy Poffin. We got to improvise. We got to play more Artisans. We got four Nest Balls. Got to make it a bit easier to find our Turtwigs. But let's go show off the deck on live and see what we can do with Torterra today for today's pseudo Bad Deck Friday deck. All right, we're going first in this game. Ooh, might be against Espathra. That would be interesting. Okay, we do top deck an Iona, which is pretty good. So... Let's see, we got Torterra, we got the Beauty Fly. All right, most of the squad is here. Uh, I'm really not trying to give him a free Artisan, but I do need to set my board up. So I really regret playing this, but I need my stuff in play. I low-key could get Shaman here and switch into it, but I'm just going to settle with another Turtwig. We're probably going to play it slow. Um, they might be playing... Uh, Bayonet. If they're playing the Espathra Bayonet deck that won a tournament, that could get a little sketchy. I don't know. Giving them a free Artisan is kind of awkward, but I mean, we got to get Turtwigs. What happens when they don't let Turtwig work with Buddy Buddy Poffin, bro? <clears throat> it really sucks. Yeah, it's Espathra. We just need two energy. We can use Reversal Energy Torterra, too. So that's probably what we're going to aim for, in all honesty, is Reversal Energy Torterra. The one price Torterra is probably going to be our best attacker here. Uh, my opponent does have a uh, double Natu set up. I mean, they're probably going to set up here quickly, so we need to probably hurry up and evolve our stuff up. But once we set up our board, should be I. Ooh, they pass. I mean, playing Iono kind of seems awkward, but them passing gives me the indication that they don't really have anything going on in their hands. So that's, like, good for us. But they might also just have, like, double Zatu, Espathra. I kind of have to Iono. All right, we're looking for grass Pokemon and an energy or something would be nice. No energy. I didn't even get a turt, a, a grottle, bro. What? Ridiculous. Oof. No a grottle. That is so sad. We also just wasted our TM Evo. That's so unfortunate. We have the very least, at the very, very least, we got a Silcoon in play, which is like, fine but yeah no energy attachment there no grottles is like actually really bad now we're behind another turn i do have arvin and torterra in hand but even if i go rare candy it's not like torterra is doing much so that's actually a really unfortunate um turn on my end not getting any way to get a grottle out is pretty bad not gonna lie we really wanted to see a grottle there and it's quite sad well shaman may be safe hopefully they don't knock it out I mean, we probably have to Iono them again, right? Because I need to just keep on digging through the deck here. All right, they do have an Ultra Ball here. Let's we'll see what they grab. Probably Espathra. Ooh, Crisis Punch. Interesting. I mean, they could go Bayonet against me, but I'm not really too scared of Bayonet. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will Arvin. Because I can Arvin for Beauty Fly. Guarantee the Beauty Fly honestly doesn't seem terrible. We'll see if they KO Shaman. KO and Shaman would be pretty bad. Okay, the Iono me back. All right, I'm fine with that. That's a decent Iono. Assuming we don't draw poorly. Nice. The only issue I have right now is I can't um, I can't attack the Espathra if I get Torterra. Are they going to pass? This might be a pass from my opponent, though. They might be passing here. Which is good for us. Hmm. They have five cards. Do they have a... I mean, they can retreat into the Espathra. Espathra only does 60 damage. Shaman does not get KO'd here, which is pretty good, actually. Yeah, I th unless they have a switch card. No! Prime Catcher! That's annoying. 
Bro hit the prime catcher. That sucks. No, my Silcoon. That's super frustrating. Now I got to re-get Wurmple back. You hate to see it. That's pretty annoying. Yikes. Okay, that's fine. We can chill. Play Artisan here. Grab Wurmple. I mean, at least we can finally get Grottles up. And I think we're just going to chill for a bit and just get some extra energy in play. It's probably going to have to be the plan here. We need to play into Reversal Energy if we're going to have a chance of winning this game, I think. So we'll Grottle again. Let's see what we got here. Anything else I can grab? We don't have the Rabska in the deck. I'd want to bench the Relor because I do want to. I do want to get all my evolutions in play to do 300 damage with Torterra. Hmm. Yeah, the candy's prize, of course. Do I just grab Turtwig or another Wurmple? We have no way to get Beautify in play. Unless I rod next turn. We're probably going to have to rod next turn because I have no way to get Beautyfly. Which kind of sucks. It's going to pass. I'm not even going to bother doing Arvin. I guess I could have. I don't know. What was I going to grab with Arvin, though? Might as well just save it for next turn. We could use it if we want to go maybe Prime Catcher. We could do that. If my opponent grabs... Um, if they put a Bayonet EX in play, maybe we could Prime Catcher. I could use Arvin for Luxray 2 to get another Evolution in play. I can't knock out the Aspathra with Torterra, which is a bit of a problem. That was an annoying Prime Catcher. I really wanted to get my Beauty Fly out, but we'll have to work with what we got, I guess. All right, let's see what they got here. They have five cards in hand. Do they have a boss? Boss would suck, because then they kill my Grotto. Okay, no boss. Nice. Okay. So we will need a Super Rod here. Um, kind of feels like a waste of our Super Rod, though, which is kind of a problem. Honestly, I think we probably... Just want Torterra, right? Like, I feel like in this situation, I actually think going just Torterra EX might be the better play, the more I think about it. Yeah, I kind of like just going Torterra EX. That, well, if I go with the other, if I go Torterra, one prizer, I can't knock out the Espathra. Torterra EX at least can tank a hit. We can tank a hit, maybe Turo next turn into Reversal Energy. One prize Torterra. There is that option. I do want to try to use the... Yeah, I do want to try to abuse the option of using... I might as well bench this. Yeah, I want to try to abuse the option of using Reversal Energy in this matchup if I can. So, I'm going to go do that. I guess, yeah, this works. We can hit with Torterra. I still don't think I want to play the Arvin here, because, like, what am I realistically grabbing? Let's just hit the active for 180. Yeah, we might go for, like, a Turo play or something, because I want to try to use Reverse Energy as much as I can in this matchup. So we might try to, like, stay behind in the prize trade. I mean, next turn, I could go Arvin, Prime Catcher, or something, maybe. Uh, we could, if we find another Energy next turn, we can go Prime Catcher into another Torterra, knock out, or maybe, like, hit something that they bring in. Like, maybe they put a Bayonet in play or something. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to try to heal this guy. Even if we don't heal the Torterra. I mean, we have 340 HP. We are very thick here. So, I kind of want to keep my hand a little small just in case of Bayonet. Okay, they only hit for 150. They did not do a lot of damage. If only I could jungle hammer for the knockout. All right, we did find Reversal Energy. So, we can go Beauty Fly. Um... Attach that there. We'll Stoke Draw for four. We did not get Turo. Okay. We can kill them with Torterra here, though. Seems like that's the plan. Keep the EX alive, I guess. Sure. Kind of down to do this. We'll do the Torterra. And then go from there. Yeah, Reverse Energy is pretty clutch here because it does allow my Evo Press Torterra to hit hard. We have Boss in hand, too, for next turn. So we can Boss KO the... Uh, we can Boss Sling up next turn if we have to. This is fine. Reverse is also no longer live now because of the fact that we're tied on prizes, which actually kind of uh, works in our favor because now, as Pathra, this only counts as one energy, which is actually pretty sick. So honestly, this isn't bad. Now, if they get another Aspathra set up, then I can't use this Torterra 
But like I said, we could maybe go for like an energy boss. Or I could draw. I could try to get Turo here. I'm out of switch, unfortunately. So I can't switch back into the EX. But I could Turo potentially and go from there. Enamorous V. What does that even do again? Prevent all effects of your opponent's abilities done to each of your Pokemon's psychic energy. Huh. That doesn't matter. Okay. Four seal stones. Pretty good. Are they going to try to item lock me here with Bayonet? Okay, they're going to Iono. That's fine. We do lose that boss. I guess that's like a little awkward. We'll see what they got. Pretty good Iono. We know we have a candy in the deck finally. We could get... Actually, we could set up our board state where if we can find... we If we get Rabska off the prizes, Evo Press can start doing 300 damage, which is what I want to be doing. All right, well, the Iona themselves some energy. Did they get a switch and an Espathra, though? They got an Earthen Vessel. Oh, boy. Did they get the Espathra here to knock out my Torterra? That, well, not, I don't think they have a KO, but did they get the Espathra? They did. Oh, my gosh. What an Iono. I do want to KO Enamorous. It does give me an out to potentially winning. That's awkward. Not the Espathra, bro. Bayonet? Okay, they might be going the item lock route, which I'm fine with. Because we can just Evo press. We actually, um... We can't... Oh, we can't take a knockout, though. Hmm. Yeah, we actually don't have a KO because we can't rear candy out of Torterra now. That's a little awkward. Uh, no grotto. Alright, draw two. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure we can't get a Torterra out. Yeah, dang it. Oh, uh, this is why we needed Rabska in the deck. Prizing Rabska is actually, like, so bad here. That quite sucks. Not gonna lie. We can hit for 200. I mean, our game plan is kind of in motion now. We can knock out Bayonet and then knock out Enamorous for game or something. They might not even knock me out this turn. I only have two items in my hand. They're only doing 100 damage, so... Or 120. That's not even enough to kill Torterra. Kind of wish I played a Radiant Serena in this deck. It would have been kind of nice to have a Serena here, healing this guy passively. Um, but then it's 50 less damage. Ooh, they're going to boss. Going after my other Turtwig on the bench. I see what they're trying to do. That's a little annoying. I'm only doing 10 damage because of my ability. Let's go. Okay, I see the vision. I do see the vision here. Hmm. I mean, I can't do anything. Um, I guess, like... Yeah, no, I can't do anything. <laughs> I got no way to evolve. I have to... Literally, they're going to item lock me until I not get knocked out. Literally can't do anything. I have no way to heal. I probably should be spreading my energy out a little bit, though. But, I don't know. They're probably going to KO my Torterra EX next turn with the Bayonet. That's fine, though. Well, if they, if they ever kill my Torterra, we can just... Attacking with the other two Torteros. Okay, they're going to Super Rod here. Getting the Espathra back. It's fine. All right, this is a little annoying. I literally can't do anything about this Bayonet lock. Uh, I got no Grottles in the deck. I can't... Oh, never mind. I lied. We have Turo. Let's go. Question is, what do we want to KO them with? The EX or the One Prizer? I can KO with EX and actually heal. But we have to put three energy on. It doesn't really make a difference. We can set up more evolutions, though, if I go with the one prizer. Yeah, I like the one prizer here. Sure. This is fine. It's all Gucci. We're on the gravy train. Okay, now we just need a boss KO the Enamorous for game. We can... Now we can set up a Silcoon. And if they don't kill my active this turn, we can set up Silcoon and go from there. There's Rare Candy. All right, all right. I can't find this Rabska, though, bro. I, the Rabska beat in my last two prizes. It really sucks, dude. I need that extra 50 damage. But we can at least try to do 250 damage to knock out the Enamorous. But I can't get Luxray in play anymore, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. All I have to do is two-shot the Espathra, and I win the game. Oh, another counter catcher. Oh, they're my, going after my Torterra. They Iono me to two. Okay. Let's see if they can find their Espathra. They rotted back off the Iono. Mm. Okay. If they don't knock me out, I mean, they can they even do 190 damage? Maybe. Even if they get the Espathra. I'm not too sure. 
It's like 60, 90, 120. They're only doing 150, 180 with another energy attachment. They actually are going to be 10 damage off of a KO, I think. Even if they get his path for energy. We'll see. They got a League Headquarters. That's fine. Doesn't really do anything for us, obviously. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't one-shot the Aspathra because I don't have Rabska in the deck. Because I can't go Silcoon Rabska here to knock out the active. Oh, they're playing that Aspathra. Okay. All right, well, I guess I can't attack it. That's fine. We can dig for boss or prime catcher here, which is probably the play. We have the ability to win this turn, so we're going to go for it. Do I shuffle the deck with Grottle first? Never mind. I was going to say, because I was looking for Silcoon, so I could do 250 damage. I guess we got it. Do I shuffle the deck? I'm going to say no, because I could draw boss or just flat out draw prime catcher. Yep, there we go in that game. We got the prime catchers. That's 250 damage. We can prime catcher up an Amorous. Bring in the Torterra and knock it out for 250 damage, baby. Let's go grass power. We kind of got bailed out by that Turo there. Um, because that would have got ugly if that bayonet locked me forever. And yeah, the Rabska being prized, bro. Rabska. You can't be prized like that. That Rabska being prized really hurt us. We also didn't have any candies that game until like after we took a prize. But then the bayonet item locked me. That got pretty close for sure, but it was it was fine. I mean, Torterra EX is super bulky, and we even got to take advantage of reversal energy that game, which was clutch. Alright, I am going second. My opponent has a mana fee. This could be Shempow. Could be an interesting matchup. No, they just pass. Okay, sure. My hand's kind of... I mean, it's okay, I guess. All right, we got the Rapska. Grottle, Turtwig, Torterra. We got the Beauty Flies in the deck. Turo, two candies, Prime Catcher, TM Evo. Most of the squad is here. We don't have a lot of basic grass energy in the deck, it looks like. That's awkward. Still grab Turtwig. I kind of wanted to get Wurmple. Um, but I am Ionoween, so it doesn't really matter. I do want to get the Beauty Fly out, though, so I might try to get Wurmple here. Or not. Not a great Iono. Didn't get any Arvin. It's going to be a pass. I think we're just going to have to sit back and grottle a bunch of times next turn. I don't got much else going on in the hand right now. That was a pretty weak sauce Iono. Just hoping for, like, an Arvin for next turn. A Wurmple would have been good. Because I got the Beauty Fly, and I can get a Rare Candy and a Beauty Fly. Not great. Speaking of Buddy Buddy Poffin, my opponent's got the Buddy Buddy Poffin. Like I said, if only Buddy Buddy Poffin worked with Turtwig. The poor little Turtwig. All right, we're against Charizard. Okay, it's Charizard. All right, we can beat Charizard. We can beat it. Our slow start's a little awkward, but it's not the end of the world. I did Iona them into everything they need, it looks like. It's probably going to get a road on, I imagine. All right. It's a little awkward. Rotom actually can't get killed in one hit by Torterra EX, which is kind of funny. All right. We're going to have to play from behind in this matchup. D See, bro, if I got... If I got the Wurmple. I guess I... Yeah, that sucks. I could have Ultra Balled for the Wurmple there, but it's fine. I didn't want to get rid of anything in the hand. Other Like, I didn't know what I was playing against, right? So that's why I didn't immediately just Ultra Ball for Wurmple. And I regret not getting Wurmple right away. Because it would have been uh, very beneficial there to get a Wurmple so I could have got the Beauty Fly. But it's all good. We can... I mean, assuming they don't kill my Wurmple next turn. I'm kind of hoping... I'm really, really hoping that their Rodom did not just give them Rare Candy Pidgeot, Rare Candy Charizard. I want them to just not have a Rare Candy Charizard here. That'd be fantastic. Give me one more turn, please. Yeah, next return here would be nice. Hopefully they didn't get Rare Candy Pidgeot, Rare Candy Charizard. I mean, they have a six-card hand. What are the odds they just got it like that? We'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. My opponent's got six cards. Can they pull off Rare Candy Charizard at the very least? It'd be pretty bad if they did. We don't mind falling behind, though, in the prize trade because we can use even Luxray in this matchup to kill their Pidgeot, which is good. So, like I said, we don't mind falling behind in the prize trade. Alrighty, then an instant charge it is. Look at that. Okay, now I'm feeling a little bit better. Cool, cool. Um, do this. The only downside is I can't put the Luxray in play now. Because I am probably going to go for the knockout here. 
Uh, do I go for the knockout? I can go for a turret play next turn. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of down to just attack into the mana fee. Yeah, we... So the thing about this matchup is... It doesn't really matter if my opponent... Uh... Let me just thin so I don't draw any of these Pokemon when I Iono. It doesn't really matter if I... Uh... What do you call it? It doesn't really matter here if I go down to three prizes. I guess they have the maximum belt to one-shot a Torterra, but 340 HP is very bulky, which helps a lot in this matchup for us. So let's Iono. I mean, I could drop, could have drawn the Prime Catcher play, and then I could have killed the Charmator. But yeah, we got the Turo, which is kind of what I was hoping for. And we'll just knock out Manaphy. If I go hit with Charizard here, we can Turo the Torterra, which is what I'm going to do. All right, let's see what our prize is. A grass energy. That's pretty good. I will take that. We could get Ionoed, obviously, but I did Iono them. I feel like if they're going to play a supporter, right, this turn it's going to be an Arvin. So we can go for the Turo play, which is good. We could also... The problem is, if I attack Charizard with Torterra, the Torterra KOs the Charizard. I was going to say, we could try to not take a prize, and then my opponent could activate Reversal Energy. I still want to use Reversal Energy, but... I think it was okay to... I don't know. Was it okay to kill Manaphy there? Or should we have just, like, waited another turn? They would have just killed my Grottle, though, right? I don't know. Like, I'm fine with just kind of tempoing my opponent, just attacking every turn. Like, maybe I don't even Turo here, to be honest. Maybe we just keep building up our board. Oh, they have nothing. Oh, they have the pass. Okay, wow. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll take it. All right, let me just... Do I even want to spam Grottle? I could get another Torterra EX here. We could Arvin for Prime Catcher, KO their Pidgey. So I can't get Pidgeot out. I low-key kind of like that. To be fair, though, we actually can one-shot a Pidgeot with a boss. I can't do that next turn, though. Well, no, I... If I go switch... Boss. I guess logically it is possible to KO the uh, Pidgeot next turn with the Torterra. So I'd have to evolve Grottle... I'm honestly down to just KO the active. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I, I I don't hate the idea of going for the... I don't hate the idea of going for the knockout on the bench Pidgey there with Torterra. That might have been the better play, actually. It's just Arvin, grab Prime Catcher, evolve into Torterra, EX, knockout Pidgey, make it even harder for them. This is fine, though, too. Like I said, if they hit me, we could just Turo. Yeah. As long as they don't take a prize this turn, we can get a full board of evolutions. And then next turn, we can go Torterra, knock out Pidgeot. Because I do want to... I do now at this point, I just want to go 2-2 two, two for a game. I don't want to go... I don't want to take three knockouts now to win. I want to take two knockouts to win the game. So we're just going to let my opponent put a Charizard in play. And then I think next turn, if my opponent just hits into my active... I'm assuming we don't get iono here. We'll go for a Prime Catcher knockout on their Pidgeot. Or their Rodom, whatever, whatever two prizer they put into play, because I assume they're gonna get Pidgeot here. Yeah, I actually, I like that play. I kind of like that. I mean, we could get Iono, obviously, and this could punish us, but we'll see what happens. Because we just need potentially two gusting cards to win the game, right? So there's no way they don't have a Pidgeot here. I mean, they could go for a boss, but if they're going around the Torterra, it's like, okay, I'll just knock your active out in one hit, and then even if you have the KO response with Charizard, I have Torterra. So it's like, I don't know. We'll see if they go around the Torterra or they just hit into me. If they hit into me, we have options. We could Turo Knockout. Turo Knockout doesn't seem relevant, though, now because they have the Radiant Charizard. It would have been better early on in the game. I do think we just try to take out Pidgeot this turn if we don't get Ionode. I mean, even if we get Ionode, we have double Beauty Fly to work with. The only downside is I do need to get a rare candy Torterra. But if not, I could always just kill the Rodom instead, right? If it doesn't get collapsed. So we'll see. Assume This is all assuming we get Ionoed and I whiff a KO on the Pidgeot this turn. Because currently I have KO on Pidgeot in hand. No, they have the Iono though still. Damn it. All right, well, we might not be doing that. Eh, we got Prime Catcher. No, we actually... No, we still... We just need an energy card, and we have the knockout on the Pidgeot, assuming they hit Pidgeot off the Iono. If not, if not, I might just kill the Rodom. We'll see. No, well, they have Nest Ball. They might be collapsing here, actually. Did they get a collapsed off the Iono to six? No shot. 
All right, nice. Okay. They didn't get a Pidgeot. Look at that. They didn't even get Pidgeot anyways. So I, maybe we just knock out the active. Yeah, I think at this point, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Let me check my prizes real quick. We have one boss. The Prime Catcher, three energy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at this point, just KO the active. KO Rodon for game. Seems good to me. Play the Arvin. Grab these two. It's rare candy, another Torterro, sure. Burn that. Play that. Stoke draw. I'm gonna save Super Rod. Okay. We'll evolve into Torterra. Beauty fly for one. Do I wanna do anything else? I might want a beauty fly next turn, so I don't wanna I don't wanna thin a Pokemon out. I think we're just gonna kill the active and just go from there. We do have energy in the prizes we could easily get here. So yeah. I mean if they collapse the Rodom, it gets a little tricky, but I'm so far ahead at this point, it doesn't even matter. No energy. Okay, we got a research though, which is decent. If they Iono me, we could get into research here or something. Yeah, we just need Prime Catcher for game on the Rodom. I mean, even if not, I'm so far ahead, I can probably just KO two more Pokemon and win. I would rather have, like I said, I would rather just take out two more Pokemon instead of going knock out Charizard EX, KO Radiance Art, and have to KO another one prizer. But they just scoop the game up and they ain't get it like that. I mean, yeah, if they got Pidgeot set up there, I would have. Try to go for the knockout. It looks like I wouldn't have got the energy for the Torterra. So that Iono potentially could have saved my opponent. But I also... Yeah, I guess... Yeah, KO on the Charizard was probably fine. But going around the Charizard there could have been cool. Like, they got a Pidgeot. I definitely would have just wanted to KO it. All right, we're going second in this game. We open up with an okay hand. I can TM Evo. Ooh, Gardevoir. Hmm, I'm not too sure about this one. We don't play any shenanigans to manipulate this matchup, which is the problem. Yeah, Guardi could be a tough matchup. We'll see. We don't... Well, I guess we're going to need the Rapska. Okay, well, thankfully our hand is okay. If I don't prize TMD... If I prize TM Evo, this hand is pretty bad. If I do... If I don't prize TM Evo, then, uh, you know what? This hand is pretty serviceable for me. So we'll see what happens. They just pass. All right, no other Rolls or Buddy Poffins? Bet. Oh, that's in the deck. That's good to know. Really? I mean, <laughs> honestly, it's kind of where Buddy Poffin be good. Nah, I prize Relor. Never mind. Uh-oh. Now they can scream tail me, which is not good. Feels bad. All right, we got Team Evo. It's all Gucci. Cool. Let's grab another Turtwig, I guess. Yeah, we prized the uh, Relor, which feels bad because I do need Rapska in this matchup so I can stop scream tail. That's unfortunate. I'll have to try to take prizes in. I mean, next turn we can attack with Torterra, so we'll get Silcoon up. Get Grottle up. Get our evolutions up. And next turn, we do have Beauty Fly we can play. We have to get rid of Countercatcher and Turo. Not sure the Turo is going to be too relevant in this matchup. I mean, I guess it could be. My opponent needs HP modifiers to knock out my uh, Torterras and stuff. That's the scary thing is, Torterra is supposed to be a really bulky beast, but Gardevoir is like one of the rare decks that technically has a way to one-shot an EX, so it's a little awkward. We'll see what they got here. They could Iono me, which honestly wouldn't be bad. I don't know. There's a lot of good cards in my hand that I kind of want to keep. Like, I kind of want to keep the counter catcher. Um, the Turo. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we don't need any of those cards. Maybe I'm trolling. All right. They do have an Arvin here. They finally got the Buddy Poffin. Memory Skip could be annoying. Yeah, they're just going to TM Evo. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, we need to keep putting basics down. Hopefully this Artisan staying in play. I imagine they're playing Artisan as their stadium, though. I don't know. I haven't really looked at these Guardi lists yet, so. Beats me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can get another Turdwig and stuff. So we just need a Grass Energy here. We can attack my opponent. Knock out the active. Oh, perfect. That's what I was going to Artisan for, so that works. Alright, we'll uh, grab another Turtwig. I mean, honestly, low-key, I wouldn't mind attacking with the Torterra EX here. I need the rare candy, though. You can get rare candy. Easy peasy. Grab Shaman. Do I want to get Shaman? It's my only other grass basic. Grab Beauty Fly. 
I guess I could have Ultra Ball for Beauty Fly and then save that for the Rick and the Torterra. Honestly, even if I don't get the knockout, it's fine. We can stay behind in the prize trade, which isn't bad. Just got to build the board up a little bit. Yeah, nice. That was a good Beauty Fly. Rare Candy, Torterra, Grass Energy. Kind of awkward to attack with this guy, but it's fine. I mean, honestly, I don't think they're going to do 340 damage next turn anyway. They have no energy in the discard, so it's like kind of fine. I'm going to Iono play now. Knock out the active. We can probably chase down the Curlias as quick as possible. That's probably on my agenda of what to do. Yeah. Also, the best part about going with this guy is my opponent could go memory skip here and prevent me from doing Force March. I mean, I do have Prime Catcher and Switch, obviously, which now I got all three of those in my hand and before we get Eerie'd. Um, but this does allow me to like play around the memory skip if I want to attack my other attack here, Jungle Hammer, which then heals the damage. I don't know. I, they're definitely not knocking out this EX. This is the one benefit of you going with the EX right now is my opponent definitely is not KOing it this turn. Ain't no way they're doing 340 damage turn three with a Gardevoir deck when they have zero energy in the discard pile currently. Well, they have one now because I knocked out the Curlia. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I might just... Prime Catcher might just Gust next turn, just Spam Gust. The one thing I need to be mindful of is Gardevoir EX being a relevant attacker. I can one-shot Gardevoir EX, theoretically, with Torterra, the one prize Torterra, but the problem is they can push Gardevoir and keep it out of range. This is why I didn't really want to grab Shaman, but I had no other evolutions in the deck. This is why I want to get... Not even one. This is why I need to get Rabska in play, because it's, it's an evolution, but it also prevents me from getting Scream Tailed. And there's an Iono, Rip. It's a little annoying. It might just be going Guardi EX here. We can just punch the Guardi with Force March. We got Boss. I mean, if they go Guardi EX, we could Boss Curlia up, cripple their draw a little bit. I don't know. That's a great idea, though. We'll see if they go Guardivore EX here. I imagine that's what they're going to do. We can also just hit the Guardivore. Assuming they don't Turo it, that's good. That's their third Iono down on the second Iono, I lied. And they are going to go Guardi. Fortunately, I have no way to KO it this turn. But... That's fine. This is where maybe I wish I did have Turo, because I could have Turo the Torterra into another Torterra and then punch the Gardevoir. Hmm. So like I said, I can go around the Guardi this turn. Or we could just attack it and then KO it down the road. I'm feeling like it's fine to just go after it down the road. Let's grab Grottle. Even if I could attack with Evo Press, it would only be doing 250, which isn't enough to one-shot. So, wouldn't it really matter? We'll just smack for 180, I guess. It's fine. We can set up more energies here. Yeah, I need draw cards. We'll put the EX in play just to evolve it. Just because they could boss that up and knock it out. Okay. If they do KO me here, we at the very least get the advantage of reversal energy, which is nice. So I probably don't want a boss here. So I think I just hit the active. We can also just two-shot the Gardevoir, which is what I'm going to go for anyways, I think. Assuming this doesn't get Turo. That's what I'm worried about here. They just Turo this. And that'd be pretty bad. Gardevoir getting Turo'd here would suck. But then I can get Luxray in play. We can actually go Luxray next turn if we want instead of Torterra. I don't know. This matchup seems kind of tough, in all honesty. Mainly because they can do a lot of shenanigans with their at one prize Pokemon. They are a deck that theoretically can hit numbers to knock out Torteros in one hit. And Gardevoir EX kind of is annoying for us if we're not going Evo Press, but we can't go Evo Press. Because I don't have Rabska. If I had Rabska, Shaman would have been the Relor and the Rabska, and we could have went Evo Press for 300 damage, but alas, it's not meant to be. Tur yep, see, that's what I was worried about. They were going to do that. Yep, that's pretty annoying. Yep, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried they were going to do. It's not good. Yeah, Turo is really, really annoying for us to deal with. Uh, we're supposed to be the one doing the Turos, not my opponent. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to boss here. Honestly, I'm down to maybe go boss Luxray. Boss, kill the Kirk Gallade probably with Luxray seems okay. I don't really want to leave this Drifloon alive. I really wish we had a vacuum in the deck. I could kill Drifloon with like Beauty Fly though. That's an option. Could hit Gardevoir with Shaman. If I find a grass energy, it doesn't seem great. I don't know. This, Like I said, I don't think this matchup is great for us. And as you can see, my opponent's kind of putting the pressure on me quite a bit, which I do not like. No, no, I'm kind of regretting putting this Torterra in play. 
Down to kill the galley, though. Is that even worth it, though, at this point? I don't even know. It might be okay. I mean, I think it's okay to attack with Lux right here. It's like a decent opportunity to use it. I do want the Evolution for Torterra, but... I mean, I could just kill the Active. I just don't have a way to one-shot that Guardia at the end of the game. That's the issue. That's why I kind of want to just kill the Gallade now, so I just don't have that Buddy Catch option available. Yeah, let's just take out the Gallade. Sure. Totally fine with this. Let's Beauty Fly for four. Okay. Got a Super Rod next turn. Beauty Fly again. And then knock out. And the Luxray can... Like, if they go around the Luxray this turn for some reason, we can just do it again. Just can't one-shot that Gardevoir really sucks. This is where I wish I had a Maxim Belt. All right, we finally got the Relor. We can set up the Rabska, which is good. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. The game plan might have to just be take... I don't even know if I can take all my prizes, though. We'll see. I don't have Counter Catchers. I only have one. I'm limited to my Gust. Honestly, it might have to be uh, an air, uh, angle where we use Torterra with Turo to try to heal it. If they can't reach a one-shot. But they can easily get a one-shot on me with, like, an HP booster card, which is another issue. We can attack with Beautyfly next turn, which, ah, maybe I maybe I shouldn't put the X in play. I'm, like, thinking about it more. Maybe it was incorrect to put that in play because it's an easy two-prize KO. Potentially an easy. I mean, I'm saying it's an easy two-prize KO like they guarantee it, but we could always attack with our one-prizers like Beautyfly to finish off these guys, which is an option. I don't know. Cam and Gallade might have been a misplay. Maybe it was correct to kill the Drifloon. I don't know. I don't have an Iono to disrupt their hand either, which is pretty bad. It feels pretty bad. If I had Countercatcher still in the deck, this might have been a little bit more winnable. I don't know, man. This Guardy matchup doesn't seem very good for our Torterra deck. Unless I can one-shot the X with Evo Press. Luminion. Well, if that doesn't get Collapsed Stadiumed, we could knock out the Luminion this turn. Yeah, there's a boss. They might just kill Grottle here. Ooh. Okay, do they have the knockout? They do. Crap. See, Torterra, bro, you're supposed to be the bulkiest Pokemon in the format, but you still get one shot by tiny balloons. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. Now I'm regretting putting this guy in play. I don't play Lost Vac. If I had Vacuum here, we could have had like a three prize turn. Well, I think we do just lose now. Is that a knockout? I'm pretty sure that's like 360 damage. Dude, Torterra, you suck. Why do you have less? Why are you so weak? Yeah, I shouldn't have put the Torterra in play. I'm regretting that. It's not good, dude. No, my Torterra. Okay, well, it's pretty bad. We can knock out this guy, I guess. I don't even know if that's enough anymore, though. That's the problem. Can we on here, mate? Isn't it even enough? Again, if I had a lost vacuum, we could probably win the game by just, like, taking three prizes in one turn. But we just can't do that. I think we are just going to lose. There's no way we can win the prize trade, I don't think. Like I said, this matchup doesn't seem great, mainly because this is a deck that unfortunately has the ability to one-hit KO a Torterra EX. There's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing I can do about that. So I think we do lose. The only way I can win is to one-shot Gardevoir next turn. I, I just can't do that. The Shaman kind of clogs up my uh, bench here for the Evo Press, but... Yeah. Even if I had a full bench, this thing has 310 HP. So it ain't, it ain't dying anytime soon. Yeah, if I didn't have the Torterra EX in play, there was a line where I could have just went all in with the one-prizers. But again, if they just push Gardevoir against me, it's like I can't really deal with that as easily. So, I mean, the, the line probably was to... I don't know. Maybe I should have kept the Drifloon instead of leaving the Gallade alive. I don't know. Like I said, this matchup doesn't seem great for our deck. I don't play Lost Vacuum. If I had a Lost Vacuum, this would be a bit easier. Even if I had Vacuum here, though, I'd Vacuum kill the Drifloon, and they just push Gardevoir up. And then I'm like, okay, I can't knock out your Gardevoir. Uh, never mind. It looks like I lose anyways, right? So it's like, it really doesn't even matter at that point. I don't know. There's not much I can do in this matchup to win. They still have a boss left. Like, yeah. I can't even, like... Even if I didn't evolve this and I waited to get another Torterra EX up, it just probably wouldn't have been enough anyways. Because I don't have a way to... I just don't have a way to deal with the, the Guardi. I have no Gust. If I had a way to trap Greninja, that'd be nice, but they definitely have energy left. Trapping Greninja, spamming Shaman into a Gust KO, but I wouldn't need to waste two Gusts to do that. It's just not feasible 
to win this. I think the misplay was probably putting the Torterra EX in play. I probably just should not have done, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just attacked with one prizers the entire game, and I maybe could have won the game. So it was a misplay to put the EX in play. Had I not done that, I think there was a world where we could have won the game. Because we still could have used Beauty Fly to knock out these guys. 70 damage. You know, we had the Evo Press Torterra. Luxray, obviously, yeah. So I probably just should not have put the Torterra EX in play, and I probably could have won this game. Yeah. Should have just not done that. We could have won. Like I said, bad matchup. Any deck that can do enough damage to KO a Torterra EX in one hit, it's not a fun time. And unfortunately, we had to play against one of the matchups where that actually can happen. All right, there you had, folks. That is my Torterra EX deck in action. I really wish Torterra was a little bit better. I just wish it did a little bit more damage. For now, it's got to be a bit of a bad deck. Friday deck. I did like the addition of the Evo Press Torterra. Trying the Torterra EX by itself, unfortunately, just wasn't cutting it. So I do like the ability to also have access to Evo Press in the deck. It does give you a little bit of extra help, especially when you need to do a little bit more damage. The Luxray is obviously really nice to have. I know it doesn't synergize with Torterra EX, but when you have double Turo, it's really not that big of a deal, and it's nice to have a way to deal with, like, Lugia and Pidgeot in one hit. And the Beauty Fly is kind of cool, man. I mean, it's a pretty good engine to have because you can't use Bibberol with Torterra EX. So I was a big fan of the Beauty Fly. Being able to draw into a six in your hand is actually just good in general, not even just for uh, just having the engine, just being able to drop to six. It's better than being able to drop to five, like with Bibberol. I don't know if I would really change anything about this list. I think the list is pretty good, and everything kind of checks out. You can kind of toy around with the Ace spec if you want. You could play the Neo Upper Energy. You could play Maxim Bell, or you could, of course, just keep the Prime Catcher in the deck. I'm a big fan of the Prime Catcher in here, though, especially when we're playing stuff like Luxray. It is nice to have, um, and we have that Shaman in the deck, too. But that'll be for me on today's video on Torterra EX. Unfortunately, again, it's got to be a bit of a bad deck, Friday deck. But I hope you all enjoyed the video on Torterra. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 58,000 subs. Check our car cabin down below. If you get any codes, use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shuffle Squad, and the second YouTube channel down below for some extra content. If you want to know what the best decks are in our current meta in the early stages of this Temporal Forces format, definitely go check out the second channel video. And if you want to see what's winning in the online tournaments, check out the second channel link down below. That'll be for me. Hope you all enjoyed, and bye-bye.